second wet trial. I don't have much more trial to do. Um, mostly just the finishing stage, isn't it? I would say another two wet trials and a quick polish will have a ceiling finished. You can see there's a couple of wee bits and pieces still just to trial out. Um, as it picks up, a uh, wee bit of blistering going on up around my bead, but that's just because it's a wee, wee bit heavier than the rest of the scene. Nothing to be too concerned about. Um, I think this is the stage where most people actually drop off on my videos watching, and I think it's because everything looks done. But we're far from done. There's still lots of clean up. Uh, a few more wee tips and tricks possibly to come here. If I can, if I can actually get a bit of time to get this up close. I'll bring it back up here again as well to show you how these angles are coming in. Um, a wee bit dirty up on that one there. Um, the reason for that is that the wall's actually hooked in, so my child's not going all the way in. Um, but again, we're not doing the walls. Not today anyway, perhaps another time. Um, so you can see I've just quickly cleaned this just with the, the big brush actually, not even with the tosser brush. Now don't don't wash don't wash it too much guys because you'll weaken the plaster, you'll dilute the plaster and what happen is you know it'll it possibly just crack in time. So you want as much plaster in there as possible. So you want to be washing it out and diluting it. So again these angles here it's all about angles and beads and corners guys plastering. Um, obviously the middle counts too but you know, p things people will, will pick up on will be the likes of these corners. Now, this looks terrible at the minute. Uh, it looks very rough. And that's because it is. <laughs> I'm not lying, guys. The, the reason for that is I'm going to keep trial out flat. I want to make sure I've got plenty of plaster along this top edge. And then I'll run my trial along when it picks up. This is a wee bit about timing. Um, my old boss was an absolute genius at these. Um, so I picked it up off him. And my uncle as well taught me a couple of wee bits and pieces about it as well. Um, so they are, it's picking up nicely now. You can go at it a wee bit early. But again, I, I like it to pick up so that I don't chip too much of this corner. Again, yes, it will be weaker than a bead. Um, so it'll have some downsides to it, but again, it'll be easy touched up and painted again. So we'll, we'll get to this shortly. Not starting at the bottom of this one, starting at the top this time. I'm working my way down. I got that top child in. And the reason for that is I'm bringing all my water down to the bottom to that bead and that will be easier to clean the dirty water and the fat away from the plaster. You can take the angles down with me. Sometimes it will be important just to run the trowel down the middle of these two guys, because if you keep trowel like that, you can create that bit of a bump, similar to what I was talking about at the beads. Although here, sometimes you don't have much of a choice either. I'll have to weigh that up, guys. Weigh up your options. What's going to be best? Don't forget to tidy up that wee bit of bead that I showed you earlier, the wee bit we had to fill in. Um, as you let the stuff get too too hard, you'll not be able to tidy it up at all either. And you can see, I'm just trying to smooth it with the trowel before I wash off the top part with the brush. Um, and I suspect that should be okay. Again, you could leave them out and put a flexible caulk in there.
Right, so guys, um, another wee quick tip, you just see me hit that a second wet trial, give it all a flatten in, give it a quick clean round the angles and a bit of a wet trial, and then that was the wettest trial, running the brush on it, see a wee bit there, always, always look up guys, get down, look up round as well, you'll always, always find something that you can tidy up a wee bit more before the next stage, but just wanted to give you this other wee tip here, just so after you use trial, you will have just a tiny bit of fat. You shouldn't be wanting to absolutely rip the life out of the scene. And basically, you're gonna to have to clean this off before it gets hard. Um, and you'll always wanna trowel that off the scene as well, guys. Um, you can still use this to fill in and stuff, but I'm gonna show you a wee, wee trick. So basically, down with the water bucket here. Um, so what, what, what I usually do is, I usually scrape it off on the inside and the wee tip here is having a bag underneath that'll dry up anything and any drips and drops but so usually I do scrape it off on the inside and that's so the, the plaster falls in but if you do have the bag on the outside what you can do is scrape it on the outside of your bucket that will keep your water cleaner for longer and then when this falls off it falls on to the bag so it's, it's easy cleaned up guys so this video, this video is literally jam-packed with tips and tricks, so I think that will be the title of this video is plastering fee log on YouTube with plastering tips throughout, but I just have to trial this wee bulkhead up now and hopefully sooner and later I can get, get you on to the high finish that top wee angle off. Our wee hip here is ready to cut back guys, so I'll try and do this up close for you so you get an idea of what I'm doing here and you can see it's still still quite soft so it'll still it'll still scrape back but it's firmed right up just the way I want it so I'll show you this here now the way I go about these so most times if you can start at the far end but on this occasion I can't so 
I'm gonna cut. And you'll always wanna keep the back of the trowel clean so that the embeds there don't rough up the front. But we're gonna trowel this again and tussle brush all this as if it was a, a corner. Well, it is a corner, but I mean an internal corner. Sort of same idea. Very hard to do this, guys, with one hand, but these are getting the idea of what way to go. What way I go about it anyway. It's a wee bit difficult there because there's like a funny, funny wee indent on the, the wall itself. You can see there's still like a pattern of where the paper was and stuff and joint. But continue on. So just really scissoring it off, saw on and off, flush both sides. You can use the top of the trowel as well, guys, just like so. It's not really it's not that difficult when you sort of know what you're what you're trying to achieve. And then later on, I'll do this with a wet trowel, but I'll trowel that all up again and wet this edge up and it'll tidy it all the way up. A bit difficult to do it with one hand here, but I'll try and get the tripod up after tripod up after I trail up the the bottom ceiling here shortly. That's that tidied up there, guys, and trail that right the way down to the bead. Still a couple of wee snatters on up there, um, but you can see how tidy it's come up. Um, we're good and close here at the minute, but I'll bring us bring us right in close here. Um, obviously, you're still at the the mercy of whatever shape that wall is to follow and stuff as well. But to me, this is a clean enough way to go. Uh, I still have another bit of tidying up on this to go yet. Um, and just, just tidy it up, just make it look a bit sharper as it sets. Um, don't, don't be afraid, guys, to try and improve it. Again, you could use a rule. You could tack a rule on and work to the rule and cut it off, but then you, that's more issues. You're gonna have holes and stuff to fill. And, um, you know, it's, you know, it's all the same. It's all the same, guys, it really is. Um, the more times you do it, the better you get, but I'll bring this up close. And, you know, there's no hiding in plastering, guys. Everybody's gonna see it. So, if you can see it, the customer will see it. But, this is it. Pretty much up close, guys. Um, still another wee bit of tidying up to do. You can still see my, my brush marks slightly in it. But, you know, you're really going to be looking at sort of from here in the most. And again, when that's painted as well, it should come in nice and sharp. Just on the, the very last trial, and I'm going to use my handy dandy Super Flexi. We're finding a Super Flex 3 just to pull out this last corner here. And honestly, I wouldn't leave home without it, guys. It's definitely a game changer. So if you haven't moved on to Superflexes or you haven't got one yet, I recommend the Superflex 3 from Afena. It's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'll give you a wee clip after I get this swiped in and let you see the end product of what has been a stipple seal that's been bonded out with Make Good Plaster, Make Good Bottom Coat and then has been skinned with Carlite Ultra Finish. So Carlite skin to me is probably the nicest skin to use guys. So it's really, really up your shelves. It's the same thing. You could do everything I've done with multi-skin and thistle bonding, um, with Carlite bonding, with Carlite skin. You could do the whole lot, the sex same, just, just with different plaster. Um, again, this has so far so good. And the big one in there, Again, that was quite similar, only with the bonding, I actually did some carlite bonding in with that one. But yeah, get this another walk around later on. Let me pull this corner in to get home. This is it, guys. All done dusted. You can see it colour around the edges and stuff. Um, just let this have a wee juke. How sharp it's come in there along the bead to the other bead. Again, up the top, all finished in nicely. Getting a bit dark up there now. 
the shoe is this. You can just play it with a wee bit more, get it in a wee bit tidier. Um, but, you can guess, don't know if you're getting taught that in tack or anything, or anybody else is showing this, but I want to show every detail possible. And hopefully, I've achieved that. Not a not a, a massive amount of work done today, but still feeling a bit tired. But, um, and again, if, if you were doing this first time, like you probably would be very tired, guys. So I do recommend trying to start things as small as you can. And again, we've got loads of demos and hard twos on the channel, and as always, more to come. And if you can't wait for more to come, like I say, there's about 400, 500 videos there. You just can get stuck in. So, catch us on the next one.